Okay, here we are for match two. And I won the die rolls, so I'm definitely going to go first. Parallelism, I think, is a great name. <clears throat> this, unfortunately, is not a good hand, so we'll mulligan that. One land, not what we want. This is a great hand, I'm going to keep it. Uh, we're going to top that. And we're going to play a forest first. Keep your options open, just in case I want to play Night Vitalist instead of Blood Rage Baller, because I, uh, if I played a mountain, well, you actually know that. Yeah, that makes sense. But I could have played the top line turn too if I wanted. So he's got his de desert synergies already. <clears throat> so obviously I'm gonna play the mountain. Actually, I was never gonna play this. So Vitalist or Blood Rage Baller. I kind of like uh, Blood Rage Baller because this is like a land anyway, and I'll just discard the land. Could even discard the desert, because we don't need double green. Yeah, I'm going to do that, because it's in the grave, so the synergies are there anyway. Although the argument could be made that I want a mountain instead, or discard the mountain because he can cycle that, but I'm going to play the land anyway because I need the third land, so that's why I did that. So he's got the combo there, Wretched Camel with the desert, which is pretty sweet every time, or every, if it dies. So I think he's going to snap off the block, especially since I'm mulligan to six. Which, you know, it's fine, I discard a shed weakness. I mean, it's not fine. I mean, I don't want to discard the card, but uh, he's definitely going to make me right now. Why not blocks? Okay. Definitely thought he was going to block. Uh, I guess maybe he wants to, like, double block next turn with a creature he's going to play. Or he's got a combat trick, like uh, the Instructable one. Actually, not that would do anything. Um, looks like he's going for the double block, which we can actually blow out with uh, shed weakness. Actually, that was my mistake. That's not even enough to uh, blow that. Um, but we can just puncturing blow this and attack, and then he can't block, which seems pretty good. And we don't have to discard a card, and we want both of these cards as well. Or we can just uh, do this, and then he'll I'll attack, he'll block with his will, we'll have to discard a card. So this is the bigger threat, and he presumably has more zombies in his deck, so it's an interesting decision. Hmm. Or we could trade two for two, or three for three, because I have to discard a card. I mean, puncturing blowing the wretched candle doesn't feel great, but puncturing blowing this seems pretty good because you know if he wants to you know block, I can just attack and uh, he, he still can't uh, trade. Well, he's trading uh, the camel for my shed weakness, and I have an exemplar of strength which is quite powerful. And given that we knew. This is easy for, me, easy for me to say now, but I was actually thinking this. That he didn't want to block the first time and just make me discard a card. He's going to wait again. And now he's got a, something good here. A Cursed Zombie. Um, okay, so the double block's actually really bad for him now. So I'm pretty sure he won't do the double block now, which is great. This is just the ultimate pressure on turn two. Very lucky for me to draw it in my, in my six. Um, and actually, the combat trick works now, so I'm definitely going to attack. I'm even going to play... Harrier Naga, I guess? Or Exemplar Strength. I guess Harrier Naga for mana efficiency. This is great because I can instant speed Shed Weakness. So if you double blocks here, it's pretty great. Although we do lose our Exemplar, but I think it's still pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna like discard the Shed Weakness, I guess. Cancel, sorry. Okay. Yeah, so he feels pretty good about that block there because if he had double blocked, we would have got both his guys. Now we would have lost the exemplar, which would have been a big loss. Um, and the, actually, the other line of play there was uh, exemplar, put the counters on himself, and then, you know, use the instant speed trick on the exemplar. So let me just make sure this I read this right. Let's target attacking zombie gains indestructible, so yeah, we wanna uh, attack with both of these. Obviously you can make a great trade here, but or maybe I should just attack with this and just offer trade there. It does say attacking though, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Worried there. So again, I could put them on the Naga, but I kinda want the Naga because we're kind of uh, on behind. 
Now this is risky because he could have uh, Splendid Agony and he could go pop pop and then kind of, uh, or even pop pop and weaken. So actually he was playing two color deck. Um, so we got stuck on land, so that was very fortunate for us. We had the ultimate pressure with the turn two brawler. So he did, he did play the worst zombie that he could have played there, which is the one that gives lifelink and death touch at the drop of a hat. Uh, now we're still going to be able to attack, but it's unfortunate that there's 2 3 and not a 2 2 because this can't attack now. But we'll draw something good off the top and then get it. I mean, that's, that's fine. I'm going to attack. The good thing is he can't attack back because then I get to attack with this and get remove a counter. So, even though he's going to get lifelink, right n just right this second, it's not the best. We really don't want him to kill our Naga because we're short on green, so if we draw a Hippo, we want to be able to cast it. Uh, yeah, we saw like two or three of these in, in the draft as well, so... Well, this is a different uh, lead, presumably. So two black, what could it be? Another camel? Uh, Binding Mummy, so that's a really good card actually, but uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's just really good. I can't, can't say anything bad about it. So he could give a death touch and trade right at 3 3 would be pretty good for him. Uh, yeah, now he's not going to attack. That's pretty good. So again, I'm just going to attack with this. Can't attack with this. I'd love um, Struggle or the second puncturing blow we have to get rid of this guy. Uh, I'm definitely going to assign damage there. Wait, what? Why would he... Why would he do that trade? I am so confused right now. He could have given this... Wait, hold on. Maybe it's attacking. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Wow, that's... Okay. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Apologies. I thought he was just being very bad. Yeah, I guess all they're attacking, that's like a new thing. Oh, this is sick, because he gets to kill this, which is really annoying. Um... Wait, I can't, I can't even remember what my card is in there. Oh, I still get to attack through it. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of annoying. If I had Shed Weakness here. Oh, the blowouts. Because this would be tapping for green. Uh, okay. I guess they're trying to turn the, the zombies into aggro. Don't think it's too good. Okay, that's trash. No, that, like, that's actually trash. I'm going to tap my guy down. I guess my Naga Vitalist could tap some mana in response. Oh my god, hurry up. Please. Okay, I, that said, I'm behind on time, so, you know. <laughs> what is happening right now? I'm so confused. You exiling cared? I'm never gonna get it back. Okay. Puncturing Blow. Is there... Do we know of a card that can get back Puncturing Blow? Because I don't. But anyway. So I probably don't attack now, because he's gonna gain some life back to 9. I'm gonna go to 17. Obviously never blocking. Don't lose my second green source. If I attack, he'll just snap trade here. So I have to leave this guy for blocking next turn. Which is annoying because... This is my turn here. That is my turn. What did I draw? Oh, I drew a man. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't really attack. One card in hand. Yeah, basically hope he, hope he doesn't play a zombie. Because then he'll tap my guy down and attack again. Which is kind of annoying because we're just waiting for him. But I couldn't attack there because he would just snap trade and then start attacking me for three life link. Whereas at least this way I have to force him to go. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh my God! Get cursed! I just got cursed, bro. No. If that player can't, he or she leaves flat. So it's not even a choice. Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna win this game. That's unfortunate. Please attack! Please attack! We need three three life linker, please. Actually, no, I, I actually don't think I can win this game. I mean, I obviously have to block, right? Yeah, I have to... Mm, yeah, I have to block. So, I wonder if we... Uh, yeah, he, damn it, he didn't attack. Damn it. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I guess we sacked this guy. We could have got punished there if he had a... Oh, this doesn't even do anything. I mean, it kills this guy, which is great. I guess we kill that guy. So this is the power of the curses, so if I attack him, he'll block. 
and then we just lose. But if I don't attack, he just... Uh, this dies anyway. So... I attack and lose 5 life on my upkeep? I don't know. I don't know how to win this game. Yeah, he snaps off the block. What's happening right now? Wait. Hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Give me that sweet, sweet five life. Oh, there's the green source we needed. Okay, sweet. Um, is there any way out of this? I don't think so. Yeah, he's got that game. Okay, sideboard. So let's hope we have some artifact take because. Uh, <laughs> um, looks like we don't. Um, definitely don't want the game to go long. So I'm kind of tempted to get rid of these and bring in two drops and three drops. Like I'm that scared of that curse. Like that that curse is basically I can't win. So. Uh, Pathmaker initiate. Brute strength is a good one. Firebound archer. Less firebound archer and these actually are less good because he has the. The minus one, minus one enchantment. I mean, I'm not getting killed with Sarah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, oh, I don't know what to do. Or do I just put them back in and hope he doesn't draw? I mean, that's... Yeah. At least this is a plan. Uh, but we need big creatures to finish him off. He's got kind of medium creatures himself. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Wait, what did I put in there? Oh, break strength. Okay. Um... I feel helpless right now. I was on the plane and I lost that game. How do we do this? How do we beat him? Hmm. Anything in this? None of these. Get rid of it. Okay. Hmm. So that, that is the power of the curse. It's a similar curse to this. I guess this is like not instant. Well, it's still pretty good. Oh, I don't know what to do. Do I bring in these two? I guess this is good, good for chip damage. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna submit. I'm just gonna submit and hope we. Oh, this 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 doesn't feel good. I mean, that feels good. Nice little two drop and uh, three drop. I think we're gonna need a lot of luck to win this. That curse is pretty good, especially if he just trades off, trades off, trades off, lands, slams the curse. I can't win. Play the forest. Turn two, Blood Rage, Brawler, discard a forest. Turn three, Harry and Naga. Hopefully, he has no turn twos, especially like the one of the desert plus the. Um... Uh, look, he didn't have Fan Barrier there. That would have just put an end to us, I think. Well, not an end to us, but would have been pretty good. Definitely going to keep this this time because I want to cycle it later, maybe. Get rid of the regular forest. Since we have the third on uh, on top line for Harry Naga. Okay, you know, all all is not the you know the worst. We played a really good two drop there. Okay. And, well, you get to attack through that as well, which is great. Uh, that's good on the aggressive side, but uh, not on the defensive side, I guess. Fan bear is good on the defensive side. Yeah, well, I mean, he's not going to block anyway, because he's tapped out, so I might as well play this pre-combat. I mean, you probably shouldn't play pre-combat, but I don't really... Like, he's not going to block with this. He, he's the zombie deck, basically. He wants to keep that alive. And it's not like, even if he had the curse in hand, it's still five turns away. He's not just going to block just to save four damage. Or at least not now, he's not anyway. Parallelism. 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 That's how you pronounce it. Pretty good name. Okay. This no plays. Although this, this no plays could be like easy combat trick. So I really hope we draw like uh, Shed Weakness. Because I'm very paranoid right now. Or he's going to do it in the second main phase for no reason. Okay. But okay. The. What's he got? The enchantment. Wretched Camel. Wretched Camel, no desert's not that bad. It is a zombie, though. 
This is pretty sweet, though. I mean, these both get to attack through this, and, like, if he wants to double jump, you know, that's fine. They two forms, so... One black mana up, I don't think there's anything for one black mana. Oh, Supernatural's down on it. But we didn't... We didn't see that, and we're... We're trying to be aggressive here. We're trying to, you know, just really hammer home. Uh, get, get, get him dead before uh, he hits seven lands. Well, that's a really good draw there. I'm definitely going to attack first, though. Keep up some tricks. Pretty good 2-3-4, two, th two, three, four, anyway. Let's hope he doesn't have superna supernatural stamina. Let's just hope he takes 7. Yeah, okay. Let's see what he He doesn't like that. He, I kill them both, and this kills them both. Yeah, he, didn't take, he took all the damage. No good blocks yet. Pretty good, yo. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good curve in. So we're we're hoping for the untapped land off the top, and then we can go this, and then uh, rampaging the rampage towards victory. Victory. So you know, no. Tr so we know he doesn't have supernatural slamming. He would use that last turn. That is a super good draw for us. Gonna do it now so we can't make double blocks. And it's also two damage to his face, so quite good. And this gets rid of a counter. Wow, that's really good. Ooh, I'm gonna begin combat. With my 3 3, my 4, 4 3, and 5 thing. So, like, this is 7 here, so he has to have a trick, basically. I'm still gonna attack, like. Hey, oh, I did not mean to draw that card. Did not mean to draw that card. Don't you dare accuse me of doing that. Okay, so we curved out there. Easy games. Um, probably gonna try and do it again. Didn't have any flyers. Spider Gasp again, no flyers. Uh, we're gonna go defense this time. Uh, I, just, I think we just have to hope that there's nothing I can bring in, really. If we, you know, flyers, flyer attack we have. Not. You know, seven, or not, doesn't matter that's seven mana, but enchantment removal, we don't have that, so. Hmm. I think this hand, although slow, I mean, he doesn't have any one drops. This is a good pinger, though. And that's a good four drop. Two lands. This is cycles on turn two. I'm actually gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. On the draw. It's really bad for us. Well, not super bad for us, but it's fine. Playing pretty quickly as well. 16 minutes left on the clock for the last game, so it should be fine. Easy games. Might even need to cycle a hippo. Probably will anyway, though. Just to draw something else. Maybe another land, hit our 5 drop. Because we want to go three, four, one of these. Um, I'd be surprised if we dodge the two drop here. We dodge the two drop, which is pretty good. I guess we'll play Mars. I guess we'll also leave up Blur Blades. No point in cycling the Hippo now. Uh, also, didn't draw a green there, so no reason to kind of keep him around. So we wouldn't want to play him to the. Oh, the Camel with the Life Link. That's pretty solid. I definitely want to kill that. Uh, this is pretty sweet that this can cycle to kill that. Red. Is there any place? We're going to play it. Um, probably not going to trade since I have Dean Worthy, especially since it cycles and kills it. And this can just ping him down. And I can kill his X ones like his Camel. Mainly his Camel, but you know. Uh, that's really good for him. So I kind of want to cast regular Deem Worthy on this. So I want to trade here. I think I block. Because I don't want this to be around. I want to play... Mm, I can wait. I really don't want the blue, I think. Wait, sorry. So if he has, like... I think there's, like, a one-mana white spell that stops all combat damage dealt to your creature. But, you know, he's fine with this, because he just wants the game to go long. He's already on four lands. We do not want the game to go long. 
Yeah, are we gonna play this, then deem worthy on this? Let's hope he misses a land drop. Even once would be great, just buys his next return before he plays that curse. Not that he has to have it, he could be at the bottom of his deck, but he could definitely have it, so prepare for the worst. Looks like he just like, slammed the land there. What's happening right now? That's a good one too. Uh, doesn't trade with this though, it's pretty good. Also, he didn't attack first, he should have uh, attacked first. Because then he would have got two damage in, because I never would have blocked, right? Because I'm never going to trade my 5-5 five, five for his 2-3. And then he uh, could have played the Angel anyway, so... I think he should have potentially attacked first. Um, okay. uh, maybe I should have developed my board, but... Yeah, uh, then he double blocks, and I only get to kill one. God, he's on 26. This is terrible for us. But we gotta, gotta get through somehow. 5-5 five, five is pretty good. Next turn, a 4-4. Four, four. Presumably, nothing is going to warrant a Blur of Blades that's uh, an X one. Please don't hit... Oh, he just slammed the land, okay. Which is weird, I'm like, oh, it's a land, but like, one more and we're screwed. That's good for him, 5 power in the air. Looks like he doesn't want to trade anyway, or risk the trade, so he's going to start attacking us for 3. Definitely gonna slam the Sarah down here anyway. That's a good one. Five. Probably attack first. CV is a combat trick. Then I can do this and this if he does. And I don't feel bad if he doesn't block anyway, because I'm not gonna play the combat trick unless he played something. Might as well leave up Magna Spray. Uh, although we do actually have Shed Weakness in our deck. I don't think he, oh, he has seen it, so I should have left him Shed Weakness, actually. Because he hasn't seen Magma Spray in three games, so... Likely that I don't have it. So luckily he didn't play a, a land there, so... That's really bad for us. Oh, no, it's great for us, because we have Blur Blades. It's perfect, okay. Please attack with both, actually. That'd be perfect. Come on, attack with both. Oh, the juiciness is real, okay. Please exert, okay. Please exert. This is really good for us. I'm feeling very, very confident right now. We have to develop a board really nicely. This guy becomes a 5-5 five, five again. I think they go all, they all go away. So... This is an extra 2 damage as well, which is gonna... Just be really, really great. Oh, it's only one counter still, though. It's still pretty good. So he's gonna exile, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. No, none, none of that stuff is coming back anyway. Actually, it would matter if it was the desert, so I'm glad I waited. Because uh, I'll attack first. For eight, put him to... Oh, this is great, yeah. This is actually... I mean, this is just... I'm loving this. Still can cycle this at instant speed, so no reason to show him now, or maybe he's got like that the two three that again he looks like he doesn't is this seven man or six man? Six man, okay. So it's not the curse. Oh it is the curse, okay. Things are pretty bad for us. But we do have the desert which makes him not be able to block. So I really hope he attacks it like I don't know, please attack, please attack, please attack. Like, attacking will be just such a huge error here, I think. Please attack. Please attack. Please attack. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I wish like, it was a choice and I could just lose five life. Um, okay. So I guess he's the weakest now, because he's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. And both these trade... Anyways, so I'm going to click him. And I'm going to attack with both. This is for 6 damage now, because he can't actually... This is, Oh, we might actually win this if he doesn't draw a removal spell. You can't block. So this can't block. 
He trades here. Uh, he takes six. He goes to one. Then I play Harry and Aga. Upkeep, I sacrifice Harry and Aga. Oh no, if he draws a creature, he still wins. Okay. But we can draw Puncturing Blow to counter that. Work struggle. Oh, oh, oh my god. Please, oh, don't tempt me like that. Are you kidding me? You're gonna make that block? Oh my god. I wish I had a pump spell here as well. There we go. Oh my god, I can't believe he tempted me like that. Don't toy with my emotions. He's about to make that terrible block. Oh. So, if he plays a creature here, we're screwed. Unless we draw a removal spell. So, it's kind of, you know, it's iffy iffy. Oh my god, we did it! Yes! <laughs> Get cursed, bro. I I don't mess with curses. Yes, that is awesome. Alright, stick around for the next video. We're gonna crush it.